Back when Concorde retired, it felt like the world had run out of ideas and the money needed to keep making planes faster and faster. Well, thankfully, the world's motor car engineers are made of stronger stuff than their colleagues in aerospace. The end of Concorde seemed to signal the start of a ground-based air race, the era of the hypercar. Take Pagani. The Zonda Cinque was meant to be the last evolution of Horatio Pagani's first attempt at a supercar. It wasn't. We were still pinching ourselves to believe a man with such a ridiculous name could build such a ridiculously brilliant and beautiful car when he came up with another, the even more extraordinary Huara. And then, of course, there's the new McLaren P1, a 900-horsepower hybrid which might just turn out to be the greatest hypercar of them all. It'll be fun finding out. Two hundred miles an hour. It's a number that's led us to some of the most astonishing cars ever to grace our roads. The first true two hundred mile an hour road car was the Ferrari F40. It arrived back in 1987. Yet more than a quarter of a century later, it remains the most exhilarating car you'll ever drive. Over the following years, other road cars squeezed into Ferrari's 200 mile an hour territory until another F1 team arrived to really raise the bar. The McLaren F1 of 1993 melded a BMW V12 and space grade materials to achieve a staggering 240 miles an hour. Even 20 years, only a couple of cars have ever gone faster. All the cars you see here are fully paid up members of the 200 mile an hour club. Just remember to give them the respect that they deserve.